Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show. I just I got to disagree with you here for a little bit. Go right ahead. Uh, the the immigration issue, uh, the, the 13 million supposed, you know, or supposedly 13 million of illegal immigrants we have. What, whatever the number, whatever the number is, nobody seems to know. Hey, yes, sir. Right. But what what makes you think that that 200 billion dollars that was saved is spent before it's even thought about being saved? Well, uh, that's more of a criticism of Congress, isn't it, than it is of anything else? I mean, Congress just loves to spend money that they don't have. Isn't that true I, of Democrats and Republicans? I, I agree, but th- this is this is my quarry with it. Okay, l- let's say that these 13 million immigrants are created, you know, or, or, or given amnesty immediately off the bat. Legalism, path to citizenship. Well, who's to say that the next vote won't be on Medicare and giving it to them? food stamps and giving it to them, you know, welfare and giving it to them, everything that an American citizen gets. That'll be the next argument, and that $200 billion is gone and within a blink of an eye before it's even thought about being uh, and, and not only that. Wesley, you whole, make a strong you know, point. 700 miles of fence right there at, in the Mexican border. Obama, not too long after he got into office, had already said that that was going to be built before the whole immigration issue even came up. How many feet of fence or how many miles of fence have been built? I think about 600. I think about 600. They're, they're, they're uh, close. They're actually close. Miles. No, I'm not so sure. Well, that, that's a factual dispute that we can resolve. Here's, here's the response to what you said. Okay. What you, the points you made are strong points if you make a few assumptions. If you assume that the people who are here illegally will just, Im- immediately say i want welfare and i want food stamps and i want medicare uh rather than saying i want a job which is really what most of them want which is what most people want number one number two you don't get medicare unless you're 65 or disabled number three there's already an amendment in the bill it's in the bill that the republicans demanded as a price of their votes that uh the people who are here illegally would get provisional status don't get a lot of these or any of these benefits and I guarantee you the Republicans in the House are going to demand as their price of of voting along with it, if they ever do, that none of that stuff happen. So to get oh, to oh. your point, you're making a variety of assumptions that simply don't won't bear out and already have been negated. I mean, you're not the first person to sit there and say, you know, all these illegals are going to want all these benefits. I mean, because you, you're you not the first guy to figure that out. Orrin Hatch figured I, that out. Bob Corker, a whole bunch of them have figured that out. And they've already said, and the Democrats have acquiesced and said, okay, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, yes, sir, I understand. But let, let me ask you one more question, and if you don't mind. Go right ahead. All right. 13 million illegal immigrants, correct? All of them, let's say all of them are, are well able to work, able to get a job. Well, the job market right now is not offering that many jobs. That's why we have so many college students out with, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars of debt for a degree that means nothing. Again, a good point, Wesley. They can't get a job. But they're already so here. Million agreements, but that, Wesley, that's adding 13 million people. But Wesley, they're the already here. The 13, you know, there are no jobs. But Wesley, the 13 million are already here and there are no jobs. So well, making them legal and there are no jobs on the table, but they're still working. Right. So why, You're why, right. why would you rather have them working under the table for cash rather than working above board and paying taxes? I'd rather I'm not work for a less wage than an American would and put an American out of a job either. But if you legalize the situation, Wesley, that's but you're making my argument. If you legalize them, you have a much stronger chance of them working for better wages. If they're here illegally, they're working under the table for cash. They're not paying taxes and they're not getting minimum wage. They're not getting any kind of, you know, legal protection at all. The, the argument is legalize them, bring them out of the shadows, pay them legal wages, pay that, make them pay the proper rate of taxes, and, and then at least you'll have people working and contributing rather than working and not contributing. What do you, what do you okay. say to that response? Okay, well, I'll say this then. One, I believe that it's probably going to flip-flop when you have Mexicans that are probably going to work for a little less money than an American would. Then you're going to have 13 million Americans out of jobs and 13 million illegal Mexican but Wesley, immigrants with jobs. They're already here. That, but, Wesley, they're already that. here. <laughs> I understand that, but here's my argument again. Okay, you got Mexico staring at what's happening right now. 
They granted amnesty in the 80s. Now they're going to turn around and grant amnesty again. Who's to say that in another 20 years, another flood of 20 million immigrants are going to come over, sit here, wait in the shadows, work tax-free under the table, buy their time, and say, it's all right. The American government's going to grant me amnesty anyway. I'll just buy my time, not get caught, and shit, give it 10 years, uh, uh, and uh, be uh, free uh. to go. Wesley, you said a word. We're having a great conversation. I enjoyed it. I wanted it to keep going, but you said a word. I understand why you said that word, because we're having a great conversation. Even though you think we are enemies, we were actually getting somewhere, and you were relaxed, and you were comfortable. So here's here's the answer. You keep calling it amnesty. To the people who will be brought into the system, it is not amnesty. They're going to have to pay a fine. They're going to have to pay back taxes. They're going to have to get in line and wait 13 years. They're going to have to learn English. They've got to jump through a lot of hoops. That's not amnesty. In addition, the whole point of the militarization of the border, of the $30 billion on border agents and drones, which are going to do down there and build more fencing, the purpose of that is so that your next wave doesn't come across and say, well, I'll just sit here for 20 years and get amnesty. So amnesty is all your sins are forgiven. These folks, all their sins are not forgiven. They're going to have to jump through a lot of hoops. In addition to that, I ask you, how did the 13 million people who are here illegally get here illegally? How? How? Was it that Satan, devil, Muslim, Kenyan, phony President Obama who let them all in? No, it was not. It was Democratic presidents. It was Republican presidents because they wanted to drive wages down on ordinary Americans by having a pool of illegal workers here who would work under the table. Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show.